Hello, I'm the Red Monk, and welcome, welcome, and uh, today we shall talk about some serious monketry, alright? And now, one of the most important things you gotta be concerned about, if you ever wanna descend into monkhood, is having a proper chi flow, alright? Now, uh, chi is a sort of vibe, uh, it's the vital force believed in Taoism, and other Chinese thought to be inherent in all things. The unimpeded circulation of qi and a balance of its uh, negative and positive forms in the body are held to be essential to good health in a uh, traditional Chinese medicine. And uh, if you're a living thing, it's really important to have a proper qi flow, as it uh, gives you, you know, a healthy body and a healthy mind. And, uh, you know, it gives you more uh, libido, and just overall makes you uh, more happy. And there's a lot of dumb things people do that uh, really just kills your chi flow. And uh, today, I shall give you uh, five cool monk tips on how to improve your chi flow. Alright, now one of the easiest ways to kill your chi circulation is bad posture, right? Now, how many times have you seen this? Someone sticking their head out like that. You know? And they're hunched over. They got their head jutted forward like that. That kills your chi flow. You know? Uh, not only it tires you faster because, you know, your neck muscles have to pick up your head. You know, your body's made to, you know, stand back on your uh, feet. Right? So, the easiest way I found to get a good posture is to uh, stick your chin down. And uh, push your chest forward. And it uh, puts the weight on your head. On your shoulders. And it just makes your body more uh, centered. And allows the chi to not be uh, restricted. Or knotted up. Another great way to improve your chi flow. Is a fitness regime. Uh, being uh, physically fit and healthy. Makes your mind feel better. And it makes your body feel better. And it's part of investing for the future. If you uh, set yourself up for yourself in three years to be better off, you'll be better off in three years. And, you know, sitting at home on the couch eating Cheetos, all you really gain for that is just the time at that moment. But if you uh, invest for the future, you know, pick up a fitness regime, uh, you will feel better, uh, you'll have better chi flow, and yourself in the future will also feel better. And once you uh, kind of fall into a pattern, uh, it's really easy to just, uh, you know, go out there and uh, work on your fitness. And, you know, like another uh, basic monk tip for improving your chi flow is drinking water. Uh, your body uses a lot of water. You know, you're mostly water. And, you know, there's no reason to make your body work, right? And... If you have access to clean water, you definitely got to drink it. It's uh, really a great thing for you. And don't ever drink Beepus. That shit is shit for you, man. It like rots your teeth and it just like jitters you up with that caffeine. It ain't good. But like two or three glasses of water a day. Another thing is having a glass of water right when you get up. Just because, you know, the chi receptacles can make the chi valves work better. A topical issue, a topical issue, but a great way to uh, improve your chi flow is uh, soft drugs. Uh, they're actually helpful to let you get a new perspective if they're done right. You know, stuff like uh, nicotine and caffeine really aren't too good because if you use them on the daily, that kind of gets rid of the purpose to, you know, give you a new angle, you know, like stretching your mind. But, you know, like, once a month, once every two or three weeks, you know, smoking the marijuana cigarettes and uh, getting drunk is helpful because it, you know, puts your mind in a different state and it's sort of like stretching, you know. And for the record, I uh, do not smoke the marijuana cigarettes because I get a drug tested at my school. And, you know, if my school wants to drug test me, I'll pass. You know, don't. Don't try me, but, uh, yeah. And an important thing about that is, uh, not using them too often because, you know, 
you know, like smoke and uh, burnt plant matter is bad for you. But doing it like once a month or like doing edibles really isn't that bad. You know, there's health consequences. But I believe the new perspective, you know, the better feeling can be good for you. And, you know, here in America, they're starting to legalize and Canada's already entirely legal. So you can do it and not have to worry about getting fined. Another uh, important thing about Chief Lo is like being like a freaking ninja man. Like being aware of your surroundings. This is uh, really important because, you know, you're always in your surroundings. And your uh, mind works by uh, looking at its environment, its past experiences, and making the judgment for the maximum positive emotions. And that's just where you came from, your environment, man, your surroundings. And, you know, being aware of that is really important. And then another cool thing is you, like, turn off the lights and, like, not use your uh, eyes as much. You can, like, focus with your, uh, what you saw previously with the lights on and just sort of not have to worry about your eyes as much, right? It's like a freaking ninja man. But, uh, another important thing for, uh, chi flow is, uh, you start, like, working your hands a bit. You know what I mean? Like, shit. Another important thing for chi flow is a sort of, like, a sleight of hand thing, right? Like, you gotta start working your hands. Start doing, like, uh, difficult things and, uh, if you just sit in your bed all day long, your chi will stagnate. So if you like do stuff that requires your brain and your hands to move in like weird ways, like juggling's nice. And like, and that's a nice thing because it gets your hand and your brain more attached. Because your hand and your brain are going to be attached to your dead. You know, you have to have a good control over your body because. Your chi flows through your body and through your brain. An important part to having a good uh, chi flow is to have the perfect filter, the lens. Now, uh, your surroundings and your environment, which is uh, very important to be attuned to, uh, always comes through your senses and goes into your brain. And before everything you do is put through a sort of a filter, how you see things. And it's really important to have that filter try to represent the world around you as best as possible for yourself. And you have to accept who you are in your environment. Like, you have to accept your smallness and your uh, inability to see. Like, you know, we're one out of like 8 billion or so. There's a lot of people and we're uh, very small compared to the planet and to the universe. And that's why I think uh, narcissism is a bad thing as you're uh, not as tuned as much to the environment and you don't see the world for what it is. You know, the world does not revolve around you and uh, thinking that uh, it does is bad for your chief flow. And another thing about uh, accepting your environment and having a perfect filter is, uh, you know, your brain is just a squishy computer, right? Like, Everything's made out of atoms. Everything's made out of the same, you know, handful of particles. And there's no such thing as facts. Like, it's all shades of gray. Everything in your brain, there's no facts. It's all emotions, right? Like, you can say, oh, my senses always give me that information. But that's just the fire of the neurons in your brain. It's just emotions. And I think uh, a really bad filter uh, for Chi, not only a narcissism, but the whole like psychoanalytic lens, I think is bad for your Chi, just because it makes you seem like a pretentious snob. And really, it doesn't provide anything. You can say, oh yeah, that person does this for that, but that person will always do this for that, no matter what, and like understanding it and like, making yourself feel all smart really doesn't change anything. And it's sort of bad for your chi. Uh, another thing for having a good chi flow is to uh, be polite. 
I wouldn't say be nice, but I think it's really important to be uh, bright and happy and uh, make the world around you better for the people that are there. You know, there's no reason not to, you know, unless you're going to, like, starve to death. There's no reason to, like, be mean to anyone. And I think it's important to be uh, polite, you know, be nice and happy because it just makes the going easier. But I wouldn't say be nice because a lot of people, you know, you try to, like, help people by giving them things. And they see, oh yeah, that dude I can get stuff off of because he's a sucker. And then they just keep on doing that. So I want to say be nice. People who are nice get screwed over, which sucks. But people who are uh, polite can uh, often help people without uh, as much as you see their own resources. And, you know, just being bright and happy most of the time just makes the going easier. It makes the chi less stagnated. Another really uh, important thing for chi flow is having conviction. You know, you got to commit and you got to follow through. If you believe something, you got to believe it all the way. And not only that, but like being determined allows you to overcome difficult things because some of the best things don't come easy. And if you just stick at it and keep on going at it over and over again, you'll get there eventually. And a lot of people try to, you know, shake at you sometimes, and you just gotta pull through it. And you gotta have a good moral compass. You know what I mean? I wouldn't really try to do what's right in your brain and then stick to that. And, you know, invest for the future because you're gonna die anyway, and you might as well make yourself for the future better off. You know, help the guy in the future that's yourself a bit. Now, having high amounts of chi circulating through your body, organs, is important. Now, the obvious stuff like uh, fitness, good posture, and focus are important. They have uh, clear benefits like uh, making you feel better. And uh, when you feel better, you can focus more on like practicing the guitar or working on stuff better. Like, everything is related to each other, especially similar things. And uh, being attuned to that, you can get better at other things when you are already good at uh, similar things. Uh, don't risk your environment. Just, like, melt into it, man. Uh, with good chi, you uh, feel better. You have more energy. And you have more uh, libido. And you can make other people feel that way. Alright, bye now.